Good morning. Happy, whoa. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Monday. It is currently 7.30 a.m. And let me tell y'all what my trifling school did this week. We had class at 7.45 a.m. today to make up for us not having class on Good Friday, right? At that point, I would have rather had class on Good Friday than coming here and trying to learn at 7.45 a.m. Granted, yes, it's only 15 minutes earlier than our normal class, but I'm not awake. And so, like, I had to, like, legit make sure I was awake this morning to be here. And it's 7.30, and, like, I only see, like, 10 cars from my class of 101. So that says something right there. Um, but, yeah, it's Monday. I'm headed to a 7.45 a.m. oncology or hematology oncology. Hematologic oncologic disorders course. Um, I'm kind of awake now, actually, now that I'm lying on myself. But I have my milkshake. My, what's I got? My protein shake? Yeah, let's get to it. Um, I got a lot of stuff done over the weekend for this class. Like, I legit finished three study guides, rewatched an entire lecture, all that jazz. Like, y'all, I was so productive this weekend. And then it, like, ended at, like, 5 p.m. yesterday, not gonna lie. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty caught up i only have one of these lectures to catch up on and it's just calculation calculations lecture for like dosing um chemotherapy but i'm very excited um and i'm excited to take you guys along this week because we've got some cool things going on we've got a um residency round table this week i've got work of course just some cool stuff going on but i just want to go ahead and start this off let's get to class have a good day <music> been home for several hours now i just have not picked up the camera until now but it is currently let's see 5 30 um i was just chilling on the couch for i guess like two hours i watched some like meal prep videos um i am starting to work on another lecture right now um, i was starting to work on a study guide and then someone emailed us a study guide and i was like oh better oh there's a crackhead cat going around right now but um, I just changed into my workout outfit because I'm probably gonna work out later. But um, going to take out the trash, make some dinner, uh, and continue going over this lecture that I'm going over. It's right now I'm going over like um, chemotherapy dosing calculations. So that's like a le I, I, that's one of those lectures where it's like I don't want anyone's study guide on this one. I want to listen to it myself and do the math myself because like just just how I work. I like practicing math. Um, but today's hematologic oncologic disorders lecture was the last lecture on monday's exam so i'm very excited about that however on wednesday we start solid tumors so like for like breast cancer and cervical cancer and stuff like that and i'm like dang i kind of wish we were going over that now but um yeah i also put a poll up on my instagram about if you guys wanted me to film how i make my charts because i get a lot of questions on instagram so probably going to make that for the breast cancer lecture but yeah, I've been home for some time, just been chilling, going to get up off the couch now. 
<laughs> I do have a meeting at seven. Um, it just got added to my calendar like two hours ago, but I connect it with this resident at this residency I kind of want to do um, in California. We connect it like this time last year. So was, I think it, it might have been like over the summer. I know I was working. So I think it was like over the summer last year in 2021. And he was finishing up the residency that I wanted, that I'm interested in, and we just stayed connected. And then today he actually ended up following me on Instagram. And I was like, oh my God, Dr. So and so. Like, um, I, this is fake because I literally had just wrote in my notes to like reach back out to him and ask him what he thought of my appy schedule. So this was fate. And now we already have a meeting today. So I'm excited to like hear what his thoughts are. Um, and just like other stuff that I can do to make me a good candidate for this position. But yeah, I can't believe we're going to be talking about like residency stuff soon, y'all. Like this is so weird, but I need to make it through P4 years. So let's uh, take this trash out, do some home stuff and finish studying. <laughs> I just finished up my meeting. It is 7.17 now. <sighs> Honestly, it went so well. Like, it went so well. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I was, so, I don't know, did I tell you guys about this or not? Well, so this time last year, I met with a resident at a residency I'm like super interested in. Um, it is the focus I want to go in, which is HIV, and it's outpatient clinic wise um, of course like training of course there's like other training outside of just HIV but it's like it's mainly service servicing my, pa my my patient population right that I serve now if you don't know I'm a student pharmacist wow I really started this whole video and didn't tell y'all my name or anything I'm Rudy I'm a student pharmacist I work in an HIV clinic I'm interested in serving this population for the rest of my life um, but yeah I met him through well actually i just reached out not gonna even lie um i just cold reached out and i um was looking at i found the residency like this time last year and i was just like gung-ho like y'all i was like oh my god this is everything i want this is what i want to do it's not somewhere i didn't want to go it's in a great st like it has all the all the boxes right and they have the contact information of each of the residents on there and I, in my head i was like there's a reason why they put people's contact information you're supposed to reach out to them and ask them questions and i was like you know what that's what i'm gonna do so i connected with him on linkedin and i just cold messaged him i was like hi dr so-and-so my name is rudy i'm really interested in this residency here's why because i do x y and z i already do this 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 um i'm going into my third year I would love to like speak with you, um, et cetera. You know, just get some, answer some questions. Tell me more about your experience in this residency. Like he loved it so much that he like stayed on a second year and did a residency there. And it's even staying in that um, city afterwards. He just really loved it. And I'm just like, please tell me what to do. And also I just truly believe, like I know you're supposed to ask like faculty and stuff for like advice on these things, but I just believe in like asking the person at the place that you want to be at for their advice, you know, like why not? <laughs> so I reached out to him this, um, this time last year, we had a Zoom meeting and we talked about our interest. Um, we talked about like, uh, well, he learned how much he enjoyed it, what he plans to do. And then we talked about me and then I just like kind of stayed connected. Cause like, obviously as, um, residency stuff is coming up in seven months i just really wanted to make sure that i was doing everything to set me up to be a good candidate and even if i don't get that position just getting a similar position you know and possibly a different hospital system um so when i got it i was like hey like can we meet again to see if this is a good um, schedule or not and he said yeah and we literally i sent that message today y'all and he, we just met it only took like 20 minutes because i wasn't trying to keep him all day and i just really wanted to that and obviously we're going to stay we're staying connected throughout the rest of the year as well we talked about it because he was like you know reach out when it comes to like interviews when you don't reach out when it comes to applications reach out when it comes to xyz and i was just like 
like this is just like the importance of networking like and I try to stress this to like people in my program that like you can be the 4.0 student, do it. That's awesome. I'm so proud of you. But also I'm very happy with being that B student that has networked and put herself out there and gotten to know people. Um, and this is what it was all about. It's like just reassures those kind of things. And I'm sure I'm rambling, but I was just, I don't know, I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited. And like, I don't, like, it just also just scares me even more and gives me like even more imposter syndrome because I'm like, oh my God, am I good enough for this? Whew. but yeah going to now do these dishes and make some dinner we we're making chicken parmesan with um this like gnocchi from trader joe's so i'm gonna like come down from this adrenaline high <laughs> and yeah it was just good it was good i'm gonna listen to some youtube videos while i do this but that was great <laughs> taking a practice board exam at 8 so I'm gonna get up and work out in the morning um, just finished packing my gym bag with my scrubs for tomorrow my work bag slash school bag all that packing my lunch right now I'm doing my leftover we made chicken parmesan with the Italian gnocchi so I'm taking that I always keep some tea bags in my own silicone bag I pack my own little cup to go with me. This is actually my work cup. Um, and then seltzer water. And I'm opening a new pack of these plant-based protein shakes that I like. And then that's all. Oh, silverware. I had this like reusable silverware set that I just, I guess I've just gone through it, like run through it. Um, cause I took my lunch a lot second year. So I'm guessing I just like really ran through this thing. I don't even know where like the case is. I might order another one actually for rotation here now that, like, now that I think of it. But lunch is packed and then I put my lunch back in the fridge, obviously. Yeah, we have a practice NAPLEX exam tomorrow. And that's the only thing on my agenda tomorrow. Um, except for work starting at like two, I might go in at one just for some extra time. Um, but I typically would come home for a little bit, but however, I could study tomorrow from when I finish the practice exam until one. Because typically of class from eight to 10, this practice exam, you get 90 minutes. So technically the latest you could finish is 9.30. Um, so I guess if I did finish before, if I did finish before 9.30, maybe I will come home. Adam's in the office tomorrow, so I could take a nap and get some alone study time here before going to work. Because when I stay on campus, I get really tired very easily, and then I regret not coming home and taking a nap. And I won't be distracted since I don't be at the office. I might do that, but it just hit 9.59. It's time for me to go to bed now. I'm probably gonna edit a, bit, edit a little bit of this video until I fall asleep. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the today's day in the life. Um, see you guys next week. I love you. <laughs>